Well, I, I think when you talk about tariffs versus India and tariffs versus China, two separate issues, maybe sure. the same underlying uh, impetus. On China, China's been a great partner for the U.S. I, I originally bet on China in 1995. Uh, I've been there for 30 years, uh, and it was a win-win mentality. The last 10 years has developed into win-lose. Our trade deficit between them has gone from $100 billion 15 years ago to $400 billion today. Uh, different rules apply to American companies in China versus Chinese companies here. There's an unacceptable level of industrial espionage, and that has to be dealt with. So even though I'm a huge believer in China and U.S. relations, I think what is occurring in terms of holding China accountable is a must. The tariffs is just one of the issues. India is an entirely different phenomena. India is the most important strategic partner to the U.S. and the world, and the India also views themselves as the U.S. most strategic partner. When I started saying that four years ago when I became chair of the U.S.-India Strategic Partnership Forum, people didn't get it. Mm -hmm. But today, if you were in this room and you would listen to literally uh, Secretary of Energy, uh, uh, Rick Perry talk about it, or Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, or Speaker Pelosi uh, at lunch, she was just amazing. And then we'll hear from Jared Kushner later today. You've got the top American government leaders saying, this is a country we want to have a partnership with. The tariff issue with them is more transactional. We'll work through that. That's what a partnership is about. And you see the same thing from Prime Minister Modi, who is amazing in India, and all of his cabinet, who we meet with regularly. So fast forward for your investors listening. If you're betting on one country outside the U.S. for GDP growth over the next decade, double down on India. Modi had just won there in a big time. If you're looking for new IPOs, they're going to be coming out of India. And a lot of the India diaspora in the U.S. are forming companies as well. And if our two countries could work together, not just on trade, and it's growing at 7% per year, and it's more equal than most of the other countries are, and we can improve it, and I agree with that, uh, you're suddenly looking at an ability to invest in startups in the U.S. from the India diaspora as well. So I think they're entirely different scenarios. The trade issue is just a common bond. It's, it's, it's interesting, John, um, that you should describe India as our most important strategic partner in the world. I, I really want to linger on that thought yes. for what it says about yes. where, where India is today and how far it's come. When we were last together a couple of years ago, you were talking about how India is the, not sleeping giant, but really the Goliath of South Asia. Is the playing field yes. on trade between India and the United States level? And if not, how does it need to be level yeah. so it's more equitable? So in the sequence you just raised it, uh, India has been the sleeping giant, a slow follower. Now it's becoming the fast leader. The economic growth over the last five years has been the strongest in the world. Modi got reelected in a landslide. He's very pro-U.S. India working together. There needs to be changes and a little bit more balancing on the playing field. But different than China, the Indians understand we've got to find a way for this to be a win-win. And it isn't a single transactional issue. In India, we have huge alliances on defense, huge alliances in terms of innovation, job creations. Our companies are working remarkably well together. There is no industrial espionage issue, patent protection, et cetera. Does it need to be balanced a little bit more? Yes, I do. I believe it does. And even good friends are going to have disagreements. I'd look for this one to be settled fairly shortly. Prime Minister Modi and President Trump actually get along very well. President Trump uh, said in the G20, he said, we are great friends. And by the way, the relationship between our countries has never been better. That's the atmosphere you see inside the room there. That's one of the few things, interestingly enough, that Democrats and Republicans actually agree upon, the importance of India and the U.S. becoming partners. And now suddenly people are realizing perhaps the most important relationship let, in the let world. Let me probe the... the, the...